Today is a recipe recreation. Today I'm making some uh, polenta fries with some cilantro lime cream sauce that you are gonna love. These fries are crunchy crispy on the outside and creamy on the inside. What a beautiful texture. And they must be served with my cilantro lime cream sauce. It has a little bit of heat that really finishes the dish off. These are addicting and I'll bet you can't eat just one. I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after my chef joke. All right, here's chef joke number one. What is a buccaneer? A fair price for corn. So to start off our recipe, the polenta needs to be made first. Make sure to use polenta and not cornmeal when making this. The difference is, I knew you'd ask, polenta is more coarsely ground, which means it's less mushy in the final product. We want creamy, not mushy. We're going to place three and a half cups of water into a two or three quart saucepan and add a half a cup of whole milk, one teaspoon of salt, and a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, and stir. Bring this to a boil over medium heat. Now don't let it get away from you like this, it might boil over. If it does this, make sure you lift it up off the heat. Slowly pour one cup of polenta into our mixture and whisk constantly. This is gonna help you avoid any lumps. Now bring this back to a boil and then lower the temperature down to like medium low to keep it at a low boil. And you have to stir this frequently. We will cook this for about 30 minutes and you will see it becomes thick and creamy. At some point, the polenta is gonna get so thick that you're gonna have a difficult time using a whisk. So go ahead and switch out to a wooden spoon. When this is done, after about 30 minutes, go ahead and turn off the heat, and then we're gonna add some mascarpone cheese, which makes it nice and creamy. Now remember, you can get the written recipe below the video in the description area. Check it out. So give that mascarpone a little stir, and then we'll add some butter. I'm using Kerrygold butter here because it's grass-fed. Mix that all up until it's nicely combined, and we'll pour this into our prepared dish. So the dish I'm gonna put this in is an eight by eight. We're going to put in just a little bit of olive oil and I'm spreading it around with my fingers for a light coating. This is gonna help keep the polenta from sticking for when you wanna get this out of the dish. So pour that hot polenta into the dish and spread it out with your spatula or your spoon. Make sure that it's nice and even. Then place this into the refrigerator for, I'd say at least two hours or overnight. All right, the polenta's chilling, so it must be time for chef joke number two. What did the corn say when he got a compliment? Aw, shucks. So while things are chilling, now we're gonna make our delicious cilantro lime cream sauce. This is super simple. We're gonna place a half a cup of sour cream into a blender. I have a Vitamix and I love it, and so that's what I recommend you use, but you can also use a food processor in a pinch. To that, we're gonna zest one lime and the juice into the blender. And it's always easier to zest first and then juice the lime. Always try to use organic limes and lemons when you're using the zest. Add a nice bunch of organic cilantro, a half a teaspoon of salt, and a jalapeno. Seeds removed unless you like a lot of heat. Remember to keep your hands away from your face, especially your eyes. I'm chopping this up really fine just because I don't want any lumps at all, but the Vitamix could definitely puree this. And the last thing I'm gonna add is one avocado. Then we'll blend things up nice and smooth. And here's what our beautiful sauce looks like. Pour into a serving dish, cover and refrigerate until you need it. Once the polenta is cool and firm, take it out and place it on a cutting board. You're gonna notice that that olive oil really made it easy to do this. Now you're gonna cut your polenta into whatever shape you want. Sometimes I do squares and sometimes I do rectangles. Today I'm doing more square shapes. Place a large frying pan over medium heat and add in some olive oil to cover the bottom of the pan and let it get hot. Once it gets hot, I like to add a little bit of grass-fed butter and swirl it until it's melted. Then I'll start adding some of the polenta fries and let them cook for a couple of minutes until they're golden brown. Don't touch them, don't move them, just let them get nice and crispy. 
flip the pieces over and cook for another two or three minutes or until they're nice and golden brown and they look, you know, delicious. Now another thing I'll do is when you have sides that are almost equal, I will place the pieces on their ends so that they can also crisp up. The more crispy part you have, I think the better it is. Take the pieces out and place them on some sort of paper towel covered plate or baking sheet. Now look how beautiful these turned out. These are best served pretty much right away, meaning nice and warm. But if you need to keep them warm because you're serving them a few minutes later, toss them in the oven at 200 degrees Fahrenheit and just keep them warm. They're so much better that way. Pull out your dipping sauce and then enjoy dipping. You will find these crunchy on the outside and oh so creamy on the inside. The cilantro lime sauce is such a compliment with its creamy texture with that little bit of heat. Here is another appetizer I wanna recommend you try. Pulled pork nachos, man are they good. Click the link on the screen and it'll take you right to the recipe. Perfect for entertaining. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure and smash that like button and we'll see you back here next week for another rockin' recipe.